I'm Kathy Giesel. I served as a state senator in Alaska for 10 years. During the two years I served as Senate President, 2019 to 2020, I worked with my minority leader. I also worked with the Speaker of the House, who was an independent. The Republican Party was unhappy about that, so they ran a more conservative Republican against me in the closed primary that Alaska had. So when I lost the primary, it was painful. It's no secret that America has become deeply divided along partisan lines. Partisan primaries could be helping drive some of this polarization by elevating the most extreme candidates from each party. In nearly every state, a primary voter has limited options. You can only vote for one party in a primary, and you will generally need to be registered with that party to even be allowed to vote in the primary. So if you want to vote for both a moderate Republican and a centrist Democrat at the primary level, you can't. So I did file to run again in 2022 under this new system. It completely changed how I ran for re-election. The Alaska electoral system changed a couple of years ago. It changed to be a top four open primary as well as a ranked choice vote general election. My name is Genevieve Mina. I am a Democratic House representative representing Anchorage. In Alaska's top four nonpartisan primary, any individual, regardless of political party affiliation, can cast their vote for their preferred candidate in each race. The top four vote getters from the primary election then move on to the general election, where they are voted on via ranked choice voting. Ranked choice voting is a simple process that we engage in every day. If the store is out of cookie dough ice cream, we can grab a pint of mint chip instead. And if they're out of that, then we can move on to chocolate. That's ranked choice voting. It really is that simple. So I think it's something that provides people with more opportunity and more choice in the election process. My name is Calvin Schrage. I'm in the State House as the minority leader. From you know, the voters' perspective, there's more choice and opportunity through this new system. And I think from the lens of the elected official, there's more of an opportunity to focus on the issues that are important to your district and less on primary threats. This means that Alaska politicians can now campaign for votes from all voters, not just within their party. There was one gentleman that stood out to me. I knocked on the door, and of course, I had already served for 10 years. He opened the door and he immediately recognized me. And he said to me, oh, you've knocked on the wrong door. I'm a Democrat. I'm a super voting Democrat. You've knocked on the wrong door. And so I smiled and I said, oh, no, sir, you are exactly the person I want to talk to. You have an opportunity to choose a second and third choice, too. And I would really appreciate it if you would consider choosing me as your second choice. And we had a delightful conversation. I was speaking to a fellow Alaskan and talking about the things that we agreed on in our hearts. We're seeing a lot of faces that we haven't seen before in Alaska politics. You know, I'm young, Asian woman. I'm the second Filipina elected in Alaska history to a state office. Results suggest the system could also help create a more representative democracy. Under the new system, Mary Peltola became the first Alaska native and the first woman to hold Alaska's seat in the United States House of Representatives. Alaska's state legislature became the most racially diverse it has been in recent history. Additionally, more women ran for office in 2022 than had in the previous five election cycles combined, and they won more than a majority of open seats. It changes the incentives and the motivations for how people work with one another as well as being more open-minded about understanding the various different perspectives of people that are in their district. I think when members of both parties work together, it forces folks to try and come to the middle and to find areas of consensus or common understanding. As we work together on the budget, we found common ground, passed a, a fully funded budget, and passed other legislation, got things done despite the fact that my Republican caucus was divided. We are united and working toward the same direction on those things in the middle that we all agree on. 